mask off. Mask off. Who been tuned in the mask off? What conversation will rule the nation on face to face basis when we blast off? It's real on the mask On the turf of the court. Yeah, we here for the sport. So take your mask off. So I can hear your ass. Yes, sir. Let me hear you explain. Hold the thoughts on your brain. Is your ass small? I need that shit from the street that make you think real deep and take a long walk. This podcast is telling it with my man J Defense and Skizzle Blizzle. I got my drink in my two steps, my drink in my two steps. Ooh. Drink of the day, something typical for Hollywood skids. I got the shot of Henny in the bed, man. Something simple. It's what we used to do. It's what we grew up on. Producer L, remember this. That's how we started down the way. Just a shot in the bed. Something simple, guys. Cheers. Yo, we always got to tap up, family. You ain't tap up with me. Oh, man. And mine got a little bit of juice in it. All right, y'all, so we back at it, man. You know what it is, man. Mask Uncovered Podcast, man. We going to kick it right into it. We got two topics, man, really tonight, man, that we really wanted to delve into. Um, first being, I know this is kind of long and run down, and a lot of people already heard and talked about it, but um, R. Kells was just convicted again for, what did he just got convicted for, L? Uh, he got convicted the first girl he did on the, the tape, the one they said he peed on. I don't see nothing wrong. Yeah, see, so he's back at it. Now, what's crazy to me is like all these people that's on all these internet channels or what have you, and they see that right now they got the shaking leg challenge or whatever. Like, you seen that, L? Like how these, these people out here? So, L... What are you talking about? Listen, this dude Kells, man, if you go on social media, how TikTok, all of these things is people creating reels off of one of his prior songs. Oh, okay. This is song by Ludacris and R. Kelly, Shake Your Leg. Shake Your Leg. Leg okay. Shake. Leg Shake it. And it. So, no matter what, this dude's been convicted five times over already, mm-hmm. and his music is still popping. Like, yep. so now, what are you thinking of how you feeling about just Kells in general or, like, his music versus the man? Man, I think we went over this before, but I Facts. still think he's a scumbag. Like, bottom line, this is, where are we going with this? I I, I think the, 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 the kid's a monster, man. Like, the music, I, I guess it's still... Hot, I mean, of course, it, you can't take away from the music. The sound is still the sound. The music is still the music. But I won't buy it or contribute to, to the music anymore. I might I might listen to it if it comes on, but I'm not. you won't hear me playing that out in my car or anything like that. All right, so, I, so, so Kels, my daughter. Kel, Kels is a monster. Kels is a beast. Now, in my opinion. No, nah, no denying that. And, and even the justice system agrees with you. What part did... Some other people have to play into that, right? Like, obviously, I'm not going to blame no child, right? Like, so somebody that's under the age of 18 years old, I don't think that I could sit up here and be like, oh, well, they should have knew better, right? But a lot of these parents was involved. Uh-huh. A lot of these parents was co-signing. A lot of these parents was dropping kids off at the studio, not having access to their kids for days possibly weeks do parents have some part to play into adding to the scumbagness of what this dude was uh, able to get away with i mean i don't myself i don't think their intentions was to hook their kids up with a monster i don't think they know how in depth it was going to go i think maybe for a fast buck they were taking a risk Maybe they thought he was a, 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 a piece of shit, a bad guy, but I don't think they knew uh, what the end result would be. So I don't know how much blame I would give the parents, but that doesn't take away from the action of, of, of Mr. Kelly. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's still 
the main topic of what we're talking about. He's the one who committed the act. The parents, there's no proof. If can you give me proof that they knowingly gave their child to be a, a, a few parents got some some write off, some some a few parents got some money, right? Um so when their kids was not available to them at a certain time and period, when stuff started coming out, like, okay, we need to do an investigation or what have you, or even Sparkle, who her niece was the young lady that got peed on, right, L? Right. Um, and she was R. Kelly's artist. Somehow she got dropped from the label. No words coming out from her. But even her own family members was like, yo, shut your mouth. We're not going to talk about my daughter being on that tape. And rumor is, or allegedly, that they took the money. Here we go. And well, let me say this. Here we go. Skiz. Producer no. L, yeah. That's so what it doesn't negate what R. Kelly did, but the but the parents, somebody had to be held accountable. Because I know me as a father, I got two girls. And I'm, I'm knocking down walls to die trying to get my kids out of there. So somebody was getting the money. I'm not saying he's in jail. He's, he's where he need to be. Right. I, I, I always felt like a man, not a bad looking guy, a lot yeah. of money, can yeah. pretty much get any woman he want. She I agree. To deal with children, you should be where you at. Oh, there you go. We're but on the same page. Of, but a lot, he, he had a team just like Epstein. They locked his Facts. team up. That girl, they locked his Facts. team up. So and that's all I'm saying. He's where he need to be. But some of these parents who took that money, because Sparkle Beast, they flew her out of the country. They just got her back 20 years, 22 years later. So that's what I'm saying. And, and what I'm saying is, do you guys actually believe that these parents knowingly put their kids in danger is what I'm saying. I think they were reckless with what they did. But do you actually think their parents knew what was going to happen to their child? I'll say that's this. That's my, my I'll question say this. to you guys I'll say who this. want to blame the parents. I'll say this, that money trumps a lot of things in some people's lives, right? And I would say that maybe initially, okay, R. Kelly wants to sign your daughter. But the same way Ella saying, if I brought my daughter to a studio to record with R. Kelly, right. and say, meet me here at 5 p.m., uh -huh. I bring my daughter there, and they say, you can't come in, she could come in. I'll say, okay, well, how long will she be there? She's only 15, 16 years old. Uh -huh. Or we'll drop her off. Now, just as a father, does that sit well with you? Now, I'm not saying no. that now. Now, let's no. imagine just a couple of hours or just hours, right? Like, I can't be in the same place with my young teenage daughter. You're telling me I can't be in that room. Okay, already, I don't even want to be a part of that. Now, maybe okay. I'm a different father than some other I'm people. The same All with right. You. So now, let's say five hours go by. Like, right. okay, where's the recklessness in, that, in, in, in the area of, okay, as a parent? Where's my child at? It's nine o'clock. She's not home yet. Now we're talking about some of these kids were gone for days, weeks, months. Uh -huh. And there was one family that I know that was trying to get break into the damn studio place, like bring my daughter out here out of all of them. So that's why I say parents were definitely a part of Nipping this in the bud a lot earlier, but also, not to jump ship, but when I found out about the high school thing, if y'all watched the video or whatever, the, um, the R. Kelly video that they have on Netflix or what have you, y'all need to go watch that. The high school, every principal, teacher, students, they all knew R. Kelly would show up at the high school at the let out. It was almost like a club for him. They were like, oh yeah, oh we always knew R. Kelly. It was always rumors that R. Kelly. So you're trying to tell me that you're in a position of power. You're an educator, whether you was the principal, a security guard, a teacher. It was well known that R. Kelly would show up at the high school. Well known. Everybody in Chicago knew he was always at the high school. He's plucking these little kids up. Nobody, where's the responsibilities from the adults? Because my question is, before that speech, yeah. was... Do you think the parents knowingly brought their kids to R. Kelly knowing what was going to happen to them? That was my question. I think What's so, the I answer? Think some of them, I think some of them, yeah. New. Not new. Yeah, all of them. Well, then, if, if you think that way, which is still a thought, there's no proof, 
then they need to deal with some consequences too because they're accomplices if they knowingly knew that's, what was going to happen to their daughter. Well, that's that was what my I'm question. I think he had a team. You know, like, if you take the girl that they brought back, who, who whisked her away? Who took the money? Who gave her the money? Once the money ran out, now they're back in court because now I think his masters and everything are going to be up right. for sale and they can split. So it's money to be made. Right. But I don't think all of them, I think all of them legitimately was like, he's going to help make my daughter somebody. You know what I'm saying? I, but but then I think... That's what I think. I think some of them were like, eh, not my daughter, keeping a, keeping a blind, turning a blind eye, you know, and... and but and this is why I agree that somehow the parents... There's no way in the world the parents are not held responsible in some of these instances. I agree. Because, the, too much, like you too said... Too much fuckery went on for the parents not to know. And, and they're cutting not you a check. They're giving, they're giving. You might not know. You got to have an idea. Mm -hmm. Dude, you don't even want your daughter at 10 years old to walk to the corner store by herself. So let alone be in some recording studio for hours, weeks without seeing her, hearing from her, talking to her. So now when somebody's coming to you, giving you, oh, here's a check for $5,000. We have your daughter signed up with her. So these parents are turning a blind eye. They're turning for the money. I just think they're horrible parents. I don't think they, myself, think they knowingly led their kid down this path, knowing that they goes be, their kid was going to be molested or raped at some point or beat or uh, okay, locked so, up so, in an apartment. I don't so, think so, they so, knew I, so, so, the so, specifics so, of so what was going to happen to their parents, mind, their kids. Let's keep in mind, all of them were 15. Some of them were of age. Some were older. 19, 20. 20, 20 so, yeah. and, and they were letting them be there. So, you know, when your kid is of age... You can think she gonna do it with somebody. Might right. as well be this thing that we can rob. That's what I'm thinking. You know what, what I'm saying? Like, what I'm saying is, they were getting cut checks, right? Because and that's if you're sitting up here, and that's this documented. this is this is my point is that at some point they were saying, okay, your daughter's here with me. Here's money to shut the fuck up. Do not follow up. Do not keep reaching out. You're not going to hear from her. She's in the studio for a month straight. Right. So here's money. So uh -huh. what I'm saying is there's not enough money in the world that's going to make me say, okay, that's cool. She's yeah, just with all cats. This, this, you are. You this is not an individual situation. Like It's not about you. I, I'm the same way as you with my, with no, my I other daughter. With you. I agree with you. But, I'm, but, but do you guys really think is what I'm going to keep going back on that these parents knew the outcome, the specific outcome of which happened, what happened to each kid, the parent knew before. I think some of them were. And, uh, come and, on, you know what you guys are saying? I think some it's of them were. It's premeditated from the parents. I think some of them were, but, but, but so let me tell you this, right? God rest his soul, kind of find out that he, he was being lied on MJ, right? He was talking about MJ doing with the, with the kids and stuff like that, dude. But like we don't even know that but, he was lied on. But uh, either way, I right. don't agree that he well, was lied on. Well, you know, the, the kid came out and said he lied. You, you one. The whole, so one of them. Yeah. But, okay. the whole, but, okay. the, but my point was, okay. they were dropping the kids off still, knowing who MJ was. You know what I'm saying? They he, were dropping the kids off at his house, little parties and stuff. People, they heard the speculation, they heard the noise, and they were still dropping them off. But Good point. These kids, these parents... I hear what you're saying where some of the parents, you can't say all the parents did it, but you can't tell me not one of them parents knew what this clown was doing. I, I, I don't think anyone pre premeditated any of these situations. None of these parents knew. Like, it was a specific outcome from each, each child. I don't think any parent knew the outcome of the child before they let them down that I, path. I, think so. I don't think Even so. Even if you go back with Aaliyah, right, they knew she was... Too young to get married, and they allowed I, it. So you could start bad with that parenting. One. You could start with that one. She was the first. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Aaliyah. But she was the first that we know about. Right. That she was the first, and and they they let her get married. So that that's right there is the first one. You see what I'm saying? Now, yeah, so so how old was Aaliyah when her and Dame started dating? Was she that much older? Like what, what was you know what I mean? What was the? Well, you think about Aaliyah's career went from when R. Kelly met her, and say if, say if she was fourteen, and then seven years till she got famous, 
That's 21, so okay. it matter when she No, was I, that was just yeah. asking. I wasn't... Yeah, even if Dame messed with her... No beef to Dame, I'm just asking. Even if Dame messed with her when she was younger, then shame on Dame too. But back to the parent. I, I see what you're saying that I don't think a parent will knowingly say, let me sell my daughter right. to some animal, right? right? Like, exactly now, what I'm saying. our mindset thinks like that, right? But the same way somebody walks around here and just starts shooting people, the same way somebody walks around here and starts raping people, we don't think like they think, right? Right. So... What makes us not think that there are some parents out here that would be like, you know what? I need money. Oh, I want money. Oh, I like money. You know what? Oh, here's an opportunity to actually sell my daughter. That's not belief, a thought of mine. Like, I wouldn't want that. I, would, I wouldn't think that of a parent. But you got the best belief the same way there are nutbags out here that would do crazy stuff that you see on the news every day, all day. What makes you think that parents that knew R. Kelly visited that high school every day, all day, and was like, you know what? Here's an opportunity for me to get some money. Yeah, but that's speculations. It's speculation. No, none of the parents knew exactly what type of monster or whatever but, he was at that point. So it's still speculation. And it, that's just horrible parenting. Horrible. Like... That's I. That's the but best you're not, word I can say. But you're say. not really answering my question, I, though. The same way question? there's nutbags. All right. What's your the question? same way nutbags are out here, and you be like, "How could somebody go up here and be raping thirteen-year-old girls?" Right? Uh -huh. You be like, "Damn, that's somebody different." Like, uh -huh. I I don't know nobody that's like that. Hey, your... So all I'm saying is, what makes you think that some of these parents didn't know or already knew that? Okay, I'm gonna sell my daughter. I already know what he's into, and I want. I want to check. I want some money. Okay, so let me ask you this. Both of y'all, right? Ask you. Let me, I know producing thing, but let me get here. Get close. That girl that was on the videotape that he just got convicted for was over 20 something years ago. Yeah. These other girls that are recent that, that were on Surviving R. Kelly. So do the timeline. Let's first 48 this thing. Mm -hmm. Have y'all did y'all see the tape with the, with the girl? Yes, on yes I did. Okay, yes I did. That was years. That was that was us in high school, right? Shit, that was years ago. Yes, sir. I guess, yeah, yeah, high school. Okay. okay, so that's there. These parents see that. They see it just like we saw it, right? True, true, true. True. Now true. some of the parents are probably our age. Fact. Okay, right. Right. So right. So yeah. some of the parents are our age. So they let these they let their kids go around this predator, this potential predator. One thing with Michael Jackson, he never had any proof. We yeah, had the just tape. Just know he was a weirdo, but that's, right, we that was enough. We yeah. had the tape, and they knew that this dude was doing that with this child. And they still let their kids come around. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. You right. know, you can't tell me if I saw that tape. My daughter, my girls are beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Right. My daughters are beautiful. And I see this. Everybody kid. thinks their daughter's beautiful. Exactly. But you know, <laughs> you know, they no, look no, like me, so. You know, <laughs> but, no. yeah. If I said, and, and one of my girls was like, R. Kelly going to give me a deal. I want them to sing. I'm going to be like, nah, baby, let's go see Jermaine Dupri. Or something like that. I'm not going to let you do I'm I'm, I'm your manager. You or I'm your manager and I'm with you. That's yeah, my I'm, point, I'm, I'm, right? I'm, 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 but but the whole point is not cracking jokes. Every parent, so every parent to these girls now. So if my daughters, if my daughters are, are 27 and 28 now, right? That means every parent that them girls are 21 and up saw that tape. I can even go back to 18. I would assume. Saw that tape and they chose to let their daughters go around this pedophile. But what I'm doing and, is... And, and that's still drastic and I get where you're going. That And, and I don't even want to sound like this because I'm completely against letting my child or anyone who's let their child go with our kids. Right, we know I'm, that. I'm right. completely against right. what your mindset was. But does that definitely tell you the worst? Like getting Pete, my child and Pete, I'm I'm illing. Right. But, but go ahead, go do ahead, you go know ahead. the outcome of your child just because you put him with Art Kelly? What's going to happen? You don't want to take that chance, but right. you still don't know the same thing is going to happen to your child. All right. Well, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let, me, let me let me let me jump to this. Yeah. Let me jump to this two seconds. Right. One thing is when you're looking to buy a house, or when you're having a child or what have you, 
you know the inner city, you know, you know different places where crime is relevant, crime is high. So you say, I don't want to have my child here. I want to move somewhere where it's less crime, right? Or less um, options for my child to get into. So with that same idea, you cannot be absolved. You cannot give parents the idea, because mind you, what we're talking about is what we already know. Like once we've seen the tape, and what I'm going back to is even years before that, before we finally seen that young lady being peed on or what have you in the video, he was well known to be at the high school let out. Like it was a club let out. So everybody in Chicago knew this is where R. Kelly is and this is where he does his recruiting. Right. So as a parent, it's almost like, okay, I have a child and if I move my son in this area, this is a high gangbang area. I'm not moving down here so my son can join a gang, but there's a high chance of him joining the gang if I move here. Yeah. So we cannot just sit up and say that, okay, a parent's gonna say, oh, I know he's known to be playing with young girls, but my girl's gonna be different. My girl's gonna be a star. All I'm saying is, why do you give them the benefit of the doubt? But that's bad judgment. It's still not premeditated. If you get what I'm saying? Because it sounds it like I'm trying to stand up for R. Kelly, but no, it's not. You, that's not, that don't stand, like, those parents would be in, in jail. It's not premeditated. So, premeditated is actually so, knowing the outcome of the crime. So so let me say this, right? That's if, premeditated. If you, if you decide to, I, I, I don't want to say all women are like this, because I don't want us to get dinged for all women you know, thing, but when you see a star athlete and you know he's probably going to the league, and your thing is, okay, I'm gonna get with him, I'm gonna sleep with him, I'm gonna have unprotected sex, maybe get a baby, I'm set. Right. Same type of mentality, I think, when, when you're dealing with a star who can probably make your daughter supposedly be a star. Now, you gotta take precautions. Now, the athlete should take the precautions to not get this woman pregnant. The parents should take precautions to say, okay, well, yeah, okay, you want to deal with my daughter, you think my daughter's talented, I'm going to be in the, I'm gonna be in the studio with her. And if, if, if I ain't in the studio with her, then we ain't, we ain't rocking. But you know the difference with what you just said? What's that? That's premeditated, the first one. The first if, one is premeditated, if, right. If, 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 if I plan out, I'm going to catch this motherfucker with his little ass skirt, catch him in the club, and, 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 and he's intoxicated, I'm intoxicated. I'm, my plan is to fuck right. this dude have a baby by him, marry him. Like that's my plan. It's written right. out. I so, know it. And I'm, the the I'm, parents of Art, the parents of the children from Art Kelly don't know the outcome. I'm, I'm, but they I'm just glad trying you, to get a bag. You, I'm glad you, you said that. Do. I'm glad you said that. But no I, one I think I think some of them know. No, like you can't, I think some of them say, well, okay, if I'm gonna do this with him and he mess with my daughter, somebody somebody probably would say, if he mess with my daughter, I'm gonna whoop his ass. But then I'm gonna sue him for all his money. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of a and and I hear what you're saying, but I yeah. also I think I think some of the parents are turning the blind eye. That's what I said. I think some of the parents are turning the blind eye to some of the stuff that was going on. Because if you saw that video, you know what this dude is capable of. How many right. women how many women did he have in the house? Eight? Right. Some something like that. Right. But I swear I want to go back to just this one question though. Like and really to you. No, nah, really to you, Skid though. Like if you know a a, a part of town is a bad place to live in. And you're raising a family, your, your wife is pregnant or what have you, and you're like, okay, we have enough money or we're saving up money to move to somewhere. The last place that you would look to move to would be, because you've done your research, is a neighborhood that wouldn't be conducive to you and your family. Right. That applies to a parent at all times. So if your if a parent knows that this guy, R. Kelly, this is well known in Chicago, that this is what's going on with this individual. So now I'm born and bred in Chicago. My daughter's now 13 or 15. One couple even brought their child, 15 years old, to an R. Kelly concert and let her go upstage, go on stage, dance with them. Then go in the back and then they were like, yeah, we got it. Y'all go home. So things of that nature. So 
being a responsible parent. Bad choices parent. and situations are not the same thing. Bad choices, like you said, I wouldn't do it. Right. If I was you, I wouldn't do it. But that doesn't mean they knew the outcome. That's all. That's all. That yeah. That's well, it. well, they have a good idea of what the outcome is. But yeah, that's that like we can't what convince. It could yeah, be. yeah. Right. Yeah, right. But it could be. So again, um, you know, we we we're going through the nice production by a big L man, my dude showing up, man, Tell holding us scumbag. down, man. Right. Listen, <laughs> I, 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 he's he's supposed to be in jail. You know what I'm saying? He he's where he's supposed to be. Um, I know he's killing himself from being on top of the world. And now he's and, down and, here. And I do, before we leave, I do think some of the parents need to be held accountable for That's their, all I'm saying. Yeah. For, for, for what their role they had. Right. That's it. That's all. I, I, I never said that. Right, right. You yeah. never did. But, but we're going to move yeah, on to what did. we do. Yeah. Every so like, night. Like, 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 like I said earlier, man, we had two topics, whatever. But what we going into right now, man, is going to be the J Defense Mask Uncovered. Question of the night. 